right answer, people. Who runs the world? We do. Oh, good Lord in heaven. Good Lord in heaven. So let me help you out right now. Who runs the world? Girls. Who runs the world? Who runs the world? Oh, 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 oh. Ladies, I know we have lots of ladies here. Make some noise. Now, fellas in the house, our brothers, our male feminists, make some noise. Let's hear your support. you got to. Okay, ladies, show them how it's done. Make some noise! <laughs> Fellas, I hate to break it to you, but we've had a whole lot more practice at raising our voices and fighting for our rights, right? Because, do you see that statue? That lone female statue standing right there? Millicent Foster, do you see her? The one badass in this hall, park, do you see her? Do you know who is responsible for having her there? No, you know, oh, you're about to find out. Do you know who is responsible for having Jane Austen on the 10 pound note? Oh, we're about to educate you people today, okay? I'm gonna ask you again, who runs the world? Oh, 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 people, come on. We gave birth to you, we feed you, we send you to school, you better answer me right. Who runs the world? And the person who's about to come up here has done so much, so many kick-ass things. Are you going to tell us who that is, Mike? I would be delighted to tell you who this is because she really is a star and women are so important to our collective culture here. They are the glue of our society. Amen! And they have champions like Caroline Criado Perez Woo! who's coming up right now or as I like to call her, my friend, CCP. Caroline! Majority. 
gates and do right by us. He can't even do right by his own ambassador. Now, we all know that being a pro-European in Britain can be demoralising and it can be disheartening. Since the 24th of June 2016, we have been called saboteurs. We have been called traitors. We have been told that our voices do not count. <laughs> well, over there, as Shola and Mike said, in the corner is a statue of Millicent Fawcett, the suffragist. And the placard she's holding quotes a speech she gave about Emily Welding Davison, the suffragette who died under the king's horse where she ran out fighting for women's right to vote, the most fundamental right. And the full quotation is, courage calls to courage everywhere, and its voice cannot be denied. Fawcett Honour Balding Davidson. Fawcett Honour Balding Davidson because although they fought in different ways, they both fought for the half of the country who were being ignored by the democratic process to have their voices heard. And they both fought for their whole lives. And you know what? They won. And you know what else? So will we. Because courage does call to courage everywhere.